Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? Um, well, we're going to take our most recent composition pretty seriously. We've broken it down into kick, snare, hi-hat effects, and tom stems. And if you don't know how I did that, check out one of the previous episodes. I don't remember what number, um, but the link will be in the description. Uh, check it out. It's basically a way that you can take reactor, you can take drum sounds inside reactor, and you can break them out into multiple tracks. It's very, very simple to do so. So that's what I've done here. What we're going to do today is we're going to extend uh, the theory from our last 808 uh, episode. And um, we essentially have the same 808 circuit here. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to use ching and audio signal to trigger it. What I have is a bus going out to this channel, literally going out to um, Reactor SCE. So the output of this bus is, and I can't really change it while I'm recording, but I took a screenshot of it, and you can already hear the effects because uh, I have it started around the uh, two-minute mark. But um, I took a screenshot. Essentially, I set the track uh, output instead of a standard output or a bus I set it to a different track so I literally set the output to a different track and what that does is set the input of that channel to this you know whatever this thing is so uh, that's cool and what that allows me to do is then take an audio channel like this kick drum and then allows me to say, I want to record an 808 that's synced up with this kick drum. And I mean perfectly synced up with this kick drum. And as you can see, I mean, it's perfectly synced up. And the way that it's doing this is it's using this audio signal as a gate. And I have this routed into gates and triggers. And then this is acting as my gate for the 808 and for the VCA. Boom! It's done. And then I get to sit here and talk to you guys about it. But no, I wanted to do something somewhat simple but somewhat creative at the same time. This is this is recording at its best <laughs> to me. <laughs> it's self-generative, you know? So I can still use the keyboard spread to do stuff with the pitch. So let's check it out. Since this bus is controlling the um, the gate, since the bus is controlling the gate, what I can do is I can actually turn the bus channel down, and this, you know, because this syncs up with, um, you know, this is essentially the audio input that is running this audio channel triggering the entire synth, you know, triggering the, the 808 sound in this case. So I turn this down, it's no longer going to be sending an audio signal to it, it stops triggering it. Watch this.
so you can get you know you can get some breaks in there where if you don't want to hear the 808 the whole time you can turn it off So let's just uh, go dark and have some fun. 